Are you right guys? My name's Sammy from Pioneer DJ and today we're at Leisure Tech to look at our brand new performance mixer, the DJM V10. So today what I'm going to do is go through the key features of the V10. Starting from the top of the mixer, we have six different switch pots. We have A and B, digital, line, phono, that are all in white. And then we have a switch of color that goes to an orange type color that indicates where you can return your sender returns that is located in the send section of the mixer. The two outside channels, one and six, are identical, apart from external one and external two. Two and five are the same, and three and four are the same. Moving down from our channel switch pots, we're now going to look at our first new feature on the V10, which is the compressor. Now what we have here is a compression pot for each channel. Now this is a production tool that we've implemented in the V10 and it works great for something like the DJS 1000, but also if you like to play out on vinyl decks, this is going to allow your vinyls to match the beefiness of your master tracks over the last five years. The four band EQ allows you to sculpt your mix down to a T with our high and lows being kills and our low mid and high mid having their own custom curve. Having six channels on the V10 opens up so many doors. You can have two CDJs, two vinyl decks, two DJS 1000s or you can take away your vinyls and DJS 1000s, have your CDJs and use your outside channels for external effects. In the past, I would have to share the same headphone cue as the partner that I'm DJing with. Now, with the V10, we have dual headphones with independent monitoring. On the left-hand side, I have headphone A, and on the right hand side, at the front of the mixer, we have headphones B. As you can see in this section here, we have a button for A and a button for B. A would be my side and B would be the person that I'm DJing with. Again, like I've mentioned, with your own independent levels and your independent monitoring. Great feature, especially for back-to-back -back DJs. The next new feature on the V10, which has really helped me when playing out, is the two band EQ in the booth. Now, if it's too harsh on the tops, I can take out a little bit of top end in the booth. Same on the low, I'm able to increase it or decrease the low, depending on the booth that I'm playing in. The V10 now has its own independent filter section and that's located in the middle of the mixer. So we have a low pass, a high pass with resonance and also goes on to the master. The send section on the V10 is completely new to Pioneer DJ. So what we have here, four built-ins and two external effects. The two external effects can be connected via the sender return on the back of the unit. Just to let you know, there is three sender returns via quarter inch jack, and there's a fourth sender return through the USB in multi-in and multi-out. So on top of your four built-in, we have four parameter pots that you can use to adapt the sound of your send effects. Now at the minute, I have these effects rooted, so they're coming out the master. And that's because I have this master mix button on. If I turn this off, there's gonna be nothing coming out the master because it's looking for me to return it through another channel. And the benefits of returning your send through a channel means you get the compression, four band EQ, filter, and beat effect 
to layer on top of your effect that you're sending. Now we're gonna jump over and look at the external. So I have a Boss Digital Delay connected to external two via the sender return on the back of the unit. So when I'm using my external pedal that I have connected, I don't use these three pots because they're located within the piece of hardware itself. But the master mix level, when I have master mix selected, I can still use because that is my volume for my send when it's coming out of my master. The great thing about using an external piece of hardware through my external one or two means that I can choose one or I can pair my two external bits of equipment together. I can even add a third and use my built-in effect to make it a triple. Just to mention guys, we can't pair up our built-ins, but we can pair up a built-in with an external. So what I would do, I would have my digital delay on external two, and I would pair it up with my reverb that is built in. The V10 has a brand new touchscreen that allows us to go in there and change the setting of the unit. We can also do something that we can do on our CDJs, which is loading our settings. So as you guys know at home, you can load your settings from Recordbox export mode onto the USB. When you walk into the club, put them straight onto the deck so you feel like you're DJing on the same settings that you have at home. Now with a V10, if you plug a flash drive into the multi in and out, I can load my settings. And I do that within here by pressing my settings load and my beat effects load. This is great because when I'm playing out, I like to have my own settings for these beat effects and being able to walk into a club and load them straight away is just gonna save me so much time. Within the screen as well is where you'll find your channel fader curve and cross fader curve. To go into the utility settings, you need to hold the cog wheel for three and a half seconds. Another really cool feature is the white mode that I've used a couple times when I've played out in the daytime. You find this by pressing the cog wheel, using the time as my scroller to go down to brightness, click on display, and then I change that to white. And now I've got my screen in a white mode. When I'm switching through my 14 beat effects, the screen will change accordingly depending on which effect I'm on. And that brings me on to our brand new effect which is called Shimmer. The Shimmer is a warm, unique sound that combines an echo and a reverb. Let's go in there and check out what it sounds like. So when using my beat effects, we now have a new way of assigning these. As you can see, we have a section of hardware circle buttons located in the middle of the mixer. When I just use shimmer, I pressed this hardware button here, which assigns it to channel two. A small but great addition is when I press this on, you can see it's flashing here. It also flashes on the hardware button indicating where the effect is being applied to. The master isolator can be used in a few different ways. We have an activation button for on and off here. And then we have a free band EQ on our master isolator. Many people that will be using this mixer will be using a lot of the channels to EQ their music. And sometimes we just want to cut the low end completely from all of our channels without individually doing it on each one. And this is done by the master isolator. The multi in and out. 
The reason why this is called multi in and out is because we can have the quarter inch on the back for our center of return, or we can use this USB here. As you can see, we have an iPad connected, which is currently recording the sound coming out of the mixer through our DJM record app. You could also use something like our RMX 1000 app, or when I've got this set up, send a return with the DJS 1000, I use my toggle to go to quarter inch jack, and I can return the signal back in to my DJS 1000 by using my channel select and level depth for my volume. The DJM is our warmest sounding mixer and this is achieved through our new addition to the master route which is now digital. So some people that are playing out may want to use bits of hardware like our Torize SB16, Torize Squid or AS1. A new feature on the V10 is our MIDI out that is located on the back. Now this will send MIDI clock to our external bits of equipment. We also have USB and MIDI A and B, meaning there's two sound cards. You can have record box and soon to come Serato and Traktor direct from the mixer through USB to your laptop. So that guys is the DJM V10. My name's Sammy from Pioneer DJ and for more information, make sure you contact Leisure Tech. Until next time.